And we're back with the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. There's a new community update and a new patch that is out right now. And a bunch of heroes got better, actually. And we're going to talk about that. And one thing that is not in those notes is that there is going to be a new playable character, Emperor Palpatine. And we're going to go over all of his abilities. And then after that, we're also going to go into this very last cantina battle. And we're going to fight against Emperor Palpatine. But before we do that, I just wanted to go over Stormtrooper Han and how important it is to get him up to gear 10. And I want to give a big shout out to everybody that donated these parts so that I can upgrade him to gear 10. Let's do this real quick. And before I upgrade him and before I upgrade his mods, I just want to take a look at his health. And his health right here is at... 18,000 plus 17,000. So that is 35,000 total health and protection. And I am going to upgrade him to gear 10 right now. And I'm also going to upgrade his mods. And then I'm going to look and see what his abilities are after they're all done. Let's upgrade this. So I'm just going to try to take him up as much as possible because I know he's going to be important for a long time in this game. I have no regrets in upgrading him at all. Oh, we don't have that. Boy, he can go to gear 11. Well, I can't max him out right now. I do need more parts, but I did take him up quite a bit. That one there. Boy, I need another. Oh, those hair dryers. The only thing that's worse than those hair dryers, uh, those are pretty hard to get. But this piece right here is the worst right here. All right, let's upgrade his mods and look at his health. And then I'll get him to a gear 11 eventually, I guess. So I'm just going to upgrade all of his mods all the way up. And this is going to cost me, I don't know, probably a million and a half. Right now, I've got six million. I'm kind of saving for the tank raid. I kind of wanted just to do that to see what hero is going to be good going forward. I'm kind of just saving right now. I want to be selective on who I upgrade. So we got that one up. That's cool. That doesn't really help his total health. Now this is a protection one, so this should help quite a bit. Oh boy, money gone. Boy, this is gonna cost more than a million right here for sure, I, I already know. Gold gone, just takes so much gold. Yeah, I'm hoping with the new tank raid, I don't know who's gonna be good in that raid. Plus this Elper Palpatine's coming out, so there's just lots of different things that are gonna be happening. And so I've been kind of hoarding gold because I'm not really sure who's gonna be needed. And I'm not gonna put my best mods on Stormtrooper Han right now. I do wanna use him, but I didn't realize he could go to gear 11. So I'm gonna have to do some more work to get him to gear 11. I thought he was gonna be maxed out at the end of this video. That's okay. I'll look in the squad arena and see what some of the better Stormtrooper Hans, their total health and defense is at. And maybe I'll be able to decide on that right there. Okay, so I got these mods all maxed out and he went up one gear level. Let's take a look at what his total health is now at. All right, what do we got here? So we've got 20,000 plus 29,000. So his total amounts went up almost by 15,000. So now he's at 50. I was kind of hoping that it'd be closer to the numbers that I'm getting on my Royal Guard, which is 80 something. Okay, let's go and look at these notes right here. And then we'll look at Emperor Palpatine's abilities, which I'm really excited about. Community update. This is really cool. Everybody's really excited about this. Free daily cantina energy at noon, starting with this update. Every day at noon, local time, when you collect your free normal 45 energy, you now collect 45 cantina energy. Yes, this is awesome. This is going to help me get mods better. So I like this a lot. New cantina refresh cost with introduction of mods. We've worked how the cantina energy is refreshed. Previously, cantina refreshes scaled at the cost for more aggressively than standard energy refreshes. With this update, Update, we brought the cost to refresh cantina down significantly so you can get shards ability materials mods you need wow i need to look into that that sounds really cool let's go to the character balance update cad bane mace windu kit fisto Commander Cody were drastically improved. I know a lot of people were upset about Commander Cody. This is going to make him so much better. This 212th attack cooldown, <laughs> that probably would be like every turn. And this leader ability is nuts. That's the one that seems the more significant. I don't know about Kit Fisto, Mace, Cad Bane, but we will see if they're better. Now let's look at Emperor Palpatine's abilities right here. 
Ah, this is so cool. And we're going to play a battle against him. Emperor Palpatine, lightning strike, deals special damage to target enemy and shock them for three turns. Then Palpatine gains 15% turn meter for each shocked enemy. So you could shock one guy, then start shocking the other guy. That's pretty cool. His splash damage is deal special damage to all enemies with a 70% chance to stun them for one turn. That's huge. Shocked enemies are stunned for two turns and have their shock dispelled. Wow, that is crazy really cool look at this he's got healing right here let the hate flow all allies gain offense up for two turns which is awesome and all units lose five percent of their max health Papatine recovers health equal to 100 for 150 percent of that total amount lost for each shocked enemy gain 50 percent turn meter and refresh the duration of shock to two turns so if you have two enemies shocked you basically can gain health just like that at the expense of some of the other heroes that's great his leadership ability Empire and Sith allies gain 32% potency and max health. Jedi and rebel enemies have <laughs> minus 32% evasion. Boy, that's going to kill evasion teams right there. Wherever an Empire ally affects a debuff during their turn, they gain 20% turn meter. Awesome. Whenever a Sith ally inflicts a debuff during their turn, they recover 20% of their max health. This looks amazing. His unique ability is Crackling Doom. At the end of each of his turns, Palpatine deals special damage to all shocked enemies and then deals special damage to all Jedi and Rebel enemies. This damage can't defeat enemies. Now, what I am wondering is if Palpatine will be the rewards on that AAT tank battle, like kind of like rebel han is okay let's go back and play that last stage right there and i want to take stormtrooper han in here because i want to test him out battle right here this last stage and i've done this a bunch of time in videos and i think i'm going to build a rebel team and i'm going to use akbar stormtrooper han leia yoda and daka we're going to see how this goes palpatine is rough at the end hopefully i'll get to stun him and we'll just see how this goes sweet Yoda's got his foresight. I think I'm going to do that right now. It just seems like fun to do that. So I don't want to take any damage. Oh, wow. That's cool. I got an extra attack from Akbar's leadership. And then I also got an extra attack from Phasma's leadership ability. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to save all those abilities for the last round. Boy, that was Phasma going off again. Let's see if we get a stun here. Very cool. Ping away. And I don't think I have to do much on this. We're going to just be just fine. I'm going to save all of my really good abilities for the last round because Palpatine's beast mode. I've seen him one-shot Stormtrooper Han in another video, and I thought that was absolutely nuts. And we've got a stun lock going on here right now anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. If it gets down to where she almost can go, then I'll definitely ramp up. Okay, the next round is going to have Jedi Knight, Anakin, Tebow, and HK-47. Let's do this. Let's attack Jedi Knight, Anakin first. Definitely want to take him out first. I don't remember him being here before, if I'm honest. Let's see. Let's do this right here. Get an extra attack from Akbar's lead. Okay, Luke is next. Let's see if we get a stun. We got a stun. That's awesome. I want to keep Foresight up, so I'm going to attack Tebow. All right. I want to actually... I'm kind of tempted to let Palpatine like hit me or something. I just really want to see how terrible it is. It sounds really cool with all that shock mechanic and everything. All right. HK-47. Oh, hit everybody. Let's get him stunned, and then we'll just go through this pretty quickly. I don't know if I really wanted to stun him. I actually kind of want him to beat me up. Well, I guess that's okay. Come on, dude, die. There we go. It's going down. Okay, we're almost done. Boy, I don't do a lot of damage here. Okay. Boy, I came back to life. You jerk. Why'd you have to do that? I am... I don't like that ability, though, and I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've never had it, like, save me or win a match or anything like that. So here it is, Palpatine, and we've got Ray, Lando, and Chewie. I think we're going to take out Ray first. Why not? I'm going to go stealth here and get a free attack. 
All right, then let's see if we get a stun. No stun, but I got an extra attack. I think I want to do this ability right here. That should stun her if it doesn't kill her off. It does kill her off. Let's do a turn meter advantage. Ooh, look at that, all those extra attacks. Let's do this. All right, we want to taunt up. Okay, well, I do want Palpatine to hit me. What's hit me, dude? I want to see this shock mechanic go off. Uh, let's see, get turn slow down. Get an attack. Let's see if he, what he does here. All these extra attacks are awesome. Oh, look at all that shock. <laughs> oh, boy. Nobody got stunned, though. I wonder why that is. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be different in the player character. I don't know. I'm gonna put this on autoplay because I think it's pretty much over once he got stunned. I'm okay with that. I think it's just gonna go through and do its thing. We're getting lots of extra attacks from Akbar and Phasma's leadership ability, so that's just a matter of going through it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching and put in the comment section what you think about Palpatine. I'm just wondering if it's gonna be the reward for the AAT guild tank raid or if it's gonna be a hero that you have to get out of the store or something like that. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.